Hey guys, it's Lillian. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this bronze eye makeup. It's pretty simple and it's going to complement every eye color. So I already put on my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and also a Neutrogena one just to brighten up under my eyes a bit. And I set that with my MAC Fix Powder. I filled my eyebrows in just a little bit with a dark eyeshadow and then I combed through with this tinted brow gel. And to prime my eyes, I just like to use my concealer in a translucent powder. But of course, if you want to use a eye primer or even a foundation or just a concealer by itself, then you can go ahead and do that. So for this eyeshadow look, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to take the shade Taupe, which you can see I use quite a bit. I'm going to put that in my crease with this little tiny fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to blend that as much as I can just so that when I put on my other eyeshadows, it's a little more seamless. So I'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade Sable with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put that right on top of the taupe shade and I'm going to blend it as well as I can. You want to make sure this one is super blended as well so that when you put on the next shade which is even a little bit darker it's all pretty seamless and it's a nice gradient. So I'm going to go back with that fluffy, tiny little fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that in as well. Then I'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade Espresso with a more defined pencil brush. I'm going to put that in the crease right on top of that. You can be a little more messy with this because we are going to put something on the lid to cover it up anyway so you don't have to be super precise. I'm then going to go back into the palette and take the shade Garnet or Garnet however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to pack it on with the shader brush just to get it as vibrant as I possibly can. You can wet your brush so it is a little bit more metallic. So I'm going to take the shade Gold and I'm going to place that right in the center of my eyelid. I'm going to pack it on as much as I can just so it's a little more vibrant and it gives the eyeshadow look a little bit more dimension. Then I'm going to go back in with that Espresso shade and just darken up the outer crease of my eye a little bit more. Then of course I'm going to go back in with that taupe shade and blend the eyeshadow even more. Then I'm going to take that same taupe shade and blend that under my eyes with a small pencil brush. going to go back in with that sable color on a fluffy brush and blend that under as well. To balance the eye look out, I go back in with that garnet shade and just sweep that through my lower lashes with the side of the shader brush. So then I'm going to go in with this white eyeshadow and pack that in my inner tear duct so it brightens up my eyes. I'm going to mix both light bronze and gold. Using my pinky finger, I'm just going to pack that over top the white eyeshadow that we just put on in our inner tear duct. Then I'm just going back in with that Garnet shade and touching it up a bit. So now I'm going to go in with a brown gel eyeliner. This one is by Maybelline. You can use a black one, but I prefer a brown one, especially for this look since it is a bronzy eye makeup tutorial. I'm just doing a slight wing and making a very thin line all the way 
through my lashes because I am going to put on false lashes. So I do want just a little bit of gel liner so that you can't see the band of the false lashes. Using the same gel eyeliner, I'm going to tight line my eyes. And this just makes your lashes look a little thicker. And especially when you're wearing falsies, you want your eyelashes to be a little more thicker so it's not as obvious that you're wearing lashes. And I'm going to put this on my lower lash line as well. After curling my lashes, I'm going to put on a thin coat of mascara just so when I put my falsies on, my natural lashes blend in a little more. Now for lashes. These are the Ardell lashes in the style 110. I'm going to go back into the Lorac Pro Palette and take the shade Light Bronze and place that right on my brow bone for a slight highlight. take that gel liner one more time and just line the band of the lashes so you can't see the glue as much. Going back in with my mascara one more time, I'm going to blend my natural lashes with my falsies. Now onto the face. So I'm going to take this NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny and just really bronze my face. I'm not contouring, I'm not making any harsh contours on my cheeks or anything like that. I'm just bronzing my face up. Then I'm going in with this MAC Pro Longwear Blush in the shade Blush All Day. I'm going to put that on my cheeks. I like to blend it up a little bit on the side of my face just because I feel like it gives it a little more of a natural look than just having a stark circle of blush on my cheeks. Then I'm going to blend that out with my translucent powder. For my lipstick, I'm going to take this NYX lip liner in the shade Mahogany. I already have a little bit of chapstick on just because I feel like it helps the lip liner go on a little less chalky. So I'm going to line my lips and then I like to fill them in a little bit. For my lipstick, I'm taking Max Lipstick in the shade Cream in Your Coffee, and I'm just going to put that right over the lip liner. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up.